recording this video now for like the third time. I was doing an upload to iMovie and realized that my one video that I did cut out part way through and didn't record anything I said, which is probably a good thing for you guys. So, I'm going to insert to right, right now what I've eaten today. You will not see dinner, and I'll tell you that why in a minute. Well, I know my breakfast is starting to sound like a broken record, uh, but I've got one egg and two egg whites um, here for zero points, just sprinkled with a little bit of Frank's hot sauce, which is zero points. Um, I did fry the egg in five grams of butter because I'm still out of avocado. I'm going to go get some today, but um, I didn't have any other healthy fat, so I used five grams of butter, so that's two points. And my apple weighed out at 88 grams today. Um, zero points. I have, uh, I'm on my second cup of coffee with, uh, two tablespoons of fat-free half and half each in my coffee. So, uh, I will have two points for my coffee. I'll probably have one more cup, uh, but it'll still be two points. So two points for my coffee, two points for the butter, four point breakfast. Well, I'm having my snack before lunch. I'm hard boiling some eggs. So I decided to have a snack while I'm waiting for the eggs. Um, it's just a bag of the Pop Secret, uh, 94% fat free butter, uh, butter flavor, and it's, uh, three points. So that takes me up to seven points for the day. I'm also enjoying it with a big, huge glass of water with lemon in it. Okay. This is my lunch today. My orange is 90 grams at zero points. I have a half a cup of the fat-free cottage cheese for two points. And then I made a chicken salad. Um, I have on top 54 grams of avocado, which is three points. I have three ounces of chicken, uh, two tablespoons of uh, fat-free yogurt, and one hard-boiled egg. And that is all zero points. I also mixed up a little bit of onion in that. And I just sprinkled it with a pinch of uh, red pepper flakes. So the chicken salad itself is zero points. The avocado is three points, two points for the cottage cheese. So my lunch is five points and I'm still working on my big glass of water from this morning. Okay, well, got home, uh, or I, I've been home all day, but my daughter came home from school and she's had a terrifically long week. So um, she said, well, what's for dinner? And I said, well, I'm gonna have some more of my shredded chicken. What do you want? And, she said, not that. And then uh, we decided to go to Applebee's instead. Up until that point, I had seven points left. I didn't record what I got at Applebee's, but I'm going to tell you what I did. We, it was packed. It's mom's weekend in college, or in the town here for the college. And um, uh, so we sat at the bar, and I ordered an unsweetened iced tea to drink zero points. Looking at the menu, um, and I was comparing the menu to the Weight Watchers app, you say, well, I only have seven points left, so what can I do here that, you know, is no more than seven points? So I opted to get the grilled chicken, which is zero points, according to the app. And my sides were uh, the steamed broccoli, which is three points. And I'm glad that look I looked that up because otherwise I probably would have attracted a zero. But it's three points, and I think it's because it's got a little bit of butter on it. Um, and then I ordered a side salad to go with it with no dressing. And I ended up not eating the salad even because I was full after I ate the chicken and the broccoli. So I walked out of Applebee's with three points. And I've got four points left for the day. So I thought I made a fantastic choice there. And I'm finding that I am um, more proactive when I go out to eat about the things that I want. Um, if I don't want dressing or cheese or something, and I forgot to tell them not to put the cheese on the salad, which is another reason I didn't eat it. And it's not that I didn't have the points for it, I did, I did have the points for the side salad, but um, I just didn't want to. And plus it was, you know, it was after 7 o'clock when we 
were eating. So I don't don't ever want to eat that late. So anyhow, that's what I did. I only had three points at Applebee's, and I'm so happy. Um, so my question is, suddenly I am finding that my weight loss journey is kicking in. Now I had a big I had a big month last Feb no last November, and that was the last big month I had. I think I lost almost 12 pounds in November. Since that time, I didn't lose anything in, in December. I didn't gain, but I didn't lose, I don't think. I didn't lose in January. I didn't lose in February. And I didn't lose most of March. And now sudden, suddenly something has happened where uh, it's the program's working for me. So I was questioning myself today, thinking, is the program working for me, or am I learning how to work the program? And I think it's probably more that I'm finally learning how to work the program. So... Uh, what I'm do I lost today, I want to tell you this too. Uh, today I weighed in at 221.2. Now if you saw my video yesterday, you know I had a I had a 2.3 loss uh, last week. So from yesterday to today, my weight went down 1.2 pounds. And uh, I don't know what I did. I didn't eat any differently. I'm pretty much eating, as you can see in my, my videos, I'm pretty much eating the same thing every day. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I think I'm learning how to work the program. And all I'm doing, people, is I'm just uh, weighing and measuring every single thing that I eat. Uh, if uh, it's not in the app, like the restaurant, I don't weigh and measure that, of course. But, you know, that's in the app. Somebody's already done that work for me. But, uh, for instance, that chicken salad I showed you today, I put two tablespoons of the Faye fat-free yogurt in that, and I opted to do that instead of the light mayo that I had. And I could have had the light mayo. I had the points for it. I just, I w actually, I kind of wanted to just try the yogurt to see how it sounded, or how it tasted. And it was pretty good. So, uh, but when I measured those tablespoons, I love it off the tablespoons, but then I measured it by grams, so I could enter in the app how many grams of that I had. Now I do that partly because I also count calories. But that's the type of measuring that I'm doing. I don't take uh, half a cup for its word. I measure it in grams. So that is the one, one of the big changes that I've made. Uh, I think not eating after 7 o'clock at night has helped. Um, I don't know why all of a sudden when I've had such a plateau and such a slump the last four months that all of a sudden my body's decided, okay, now it's time to lose weight again. I'm not complaining about it. It's just I'm kind of mystified as to to why. Maybe I'm, I'm, it's, maybe it's nervous energy that's causing me to uh, lose some of this stuff or, you know, my metabolism's kicking up. I don't know. Uh, one of my, the son of mine that lives in Oklahoma, I'm going to turn here in my chair. Um, I was talking to him about it today, and he said maybe it's just the fact that uh, your body weight has come down to the point now where your meta metabolism is starting to pump up and, you know, to ramp up, and that's why it's starting to get a little simpler for you. Now, mind you, I'm still in the 220s so I I don't know if that's true or not but like I said I'm not complaining my next goal is to um, be in the teens the two teens so I can get rid of this 2-2 two -two in front of my weight forever for good so I have lost to date 56.6 pounds that's as of this morning and um I'm going to look at my chart here. But uh, I wanted to say, B, over at B's journey, have I caught up to you yet? I know we're real running rec neck and neck with our weight loss, so I'm just curious. I mean, I'm not in a contest with you or anything. I'm just curious if I've caught up with you yet. <laughs> so, yeah, I've lost 56 pounds, 56.6 pounds to, to date. My weight was, weight was 221.2. 
yesterday it was 222.4 so I lost 1.2 pounds since yesterday go figure I don't know uh, I've lost 20.374 percent of my total body weight from when I started back in 2016 uh, for the month of April so far now this is the 12th so for the last 12 days I've lost 6.5 pounds so I'm headed for another big month I hope it's not followed by another slump of four months I'm not losing I have uh, 91.2 pounds to go to my goal uh, year to date since January 1st I've lost 10.7 and most of that's coming in April I have 22.2 pounds to go to get to Wonderland but my next goal like I said is the two teens so I can be out of it forever I've been here for I've been in this 220 230 range for the last year and I'm tired of it so I'm working very hard at doing all the weighing and the measuring and even when I go out to eat I've been being very mindful of what I'm eating so and if it's not on plan I'm not ordering it so I'm not I refuse to sabotage myself you know I've been doing this now for a long time and I'm I'm tired of it I have increased my water intake I think that's helped a little bit so other than that I don't know but I, that's why I wanted to update you on. I hope that you're doing well on your journey. I hope that my food that you, I've been showing you. Oh, that's the other thing that I've done. I started showing you um, the what I eat videos. And I think my weight loss really started when I started doing that. Because it keeps me honest. So that you know exactly what I eat. Um, and I've even showed you the snacks most of the time. But, but you guys are knowing what I'm eating. So I'm eating as if the entire world were watching me. And actually, that was my Friday um, thought for today was, you know, whenever you eat anything, eat as if the entire world was eating. Because I think it makes us more mindful of what we're doing. So I think counting the calories and putting a calorie limit on what I'm doing also has helped. Uh, I know some of you that do uh, the, the freestyle say, well, that kind of defeats the purpose. I want to tell you, the reason I started counting calories is because I really believe I was eating too many zero-point foods. I think I was overeating on foods that didn't have any single point in them at all. And uh, I started counting the calories because of that. Because, you know, I put, I put a, a cap on my calories for 1,300 calories a day. Um, and most of the time, I'm getting between 1,100 and 1,200 calories. But I have that 1,300 cap. And then I um, always sink my Fitbit at night to see my calorie, um, my burned calories versus my um, in my calories that I have taken in. And I'm shooting for like a 500 or more calorie deficit there. I think we need. I you know I I read somewhere that if you burn 500 calories more than you take in, that equals one pound. So that's kind of what I'm thinking when I'm when I set that up and I'm pretty darn near close to it every single day not all the time but pretty darn near close so uh, yeah that's what I'm doing um, I think you guys are keeping me honest though honestly doing this YouTube channel I don't think I would be having success without doing this YouTube channel because I'm really honest with you about the emotions that I'm feeling, about everything. Um, I show you everything that I eat, talk to you about what I'm doing with my life, and uh, it's keeping me honest. So, and that's another reason why I weigh myself every day. And I know a lot of you don't agree with that. I know Weight Watchers doesn't recommend it, um, but I do it, and I keep this big spreadsheet of mine, um, basically because I wanted more information than what. Weight Watchers was giving me, but uh, I weigh myself every single day to, to keep me on track. It it works for me. Some people can't handle that. Like now, I want to tell you the way my body fluctuates, and I've told you this before that I will lose weight. 
like two or three days in a row and then I'll gain. I have a slight gain for a day. And sometimes the gain's not so slight. Sometimes, you know, I can gain two or three pounds overnight depending on what I eat. And if I have something that has a lot of sodium in it, you can guarantee I'm going to gain weight the next day. But as long as you understand uh, the way your body fluctuates and how it responds to certain foods you eat, then I think weighing every day is a good uh, baseline. It gives you a good baseline of, on your body cycle, your natural body cycle. So, um, and like I said, it, I didn't realize what my body was doing until I have different highlights on my spreadsheet where if I have a loss, it highlights the whole cell as green, and if I have a gain, it goes pink. So, uh, and I, so I can just look at a glance and see what the pattern is in my weight loss. So I've had uh, two real good days, three real good days now of weight loss. So I might have a gain in the morning. I don't know. I'm four, I have four points left on the table, so, but points aren't everything, people. Uh, it depends on, you know, especially when you go out to eat, you never know how much sodium's in that stuff. So, uh, I'm gonna, I'm loading up on water tonight. That's all I need. I'm, sh I'm glad that you guys are there to share my, my ups and my downs, my successes and my, uh, and my not so successful days. So it's nice to have somebody to talk to. I'm gearing up for my trip back home. Um, Sandy made a comment on uh, my video from yesterday about she wouldn't have what it, you know, she couldn't drive across the country like I'm going across. But I got to tell you, I have no choice. I have to learn how to be single all over again. And uh, before I was married, I would take, you know, I remember driving from Ohio to Kansas City in one night uh, to go see a friend. So. I don't have a problem with it, and this time I'm going to have my dog with me, so I'll have some company. I'll have somebody to talk to on the way home, and I'll have much better weather, I hope. Although, oh my, one of my sons back in Ohio, the ones that I've been staying with, uh, used to drive semi, and he told me that he remembers getting uh, stranded in a snowstorm in Wyoming <laughs> on I-80, which is the route I'm taking home in May. So. So, well, gosh, I hope this doesn't happen this year because the winter's been so rough. Maybe the spring will be better. Um, I'm just leery about going back up in the northern tier along I-90 on the way home just because their weather has, has really been bad. So uh, I'll be going through Idaho, Wyoming. What's next to Wyoming? Nebraska, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, then Ohio. Of course, I can do... Illinois to Ohio in one day, but uh, I'm planning on staying in Joliet, Illinois, in that area uh, on one night. Before that, I think I'm staying in Laramie, Wyoming, and then I'm going to stay down around the Twin Falls area in Idaho my first night out. So I think I've got a plan. I just have to make the hotel reservations. So, um, look, you know, I have to make sure they're pet friendly dog, pet friendly hotels. But, uh, so yeah, I'll be traveling across a few states, but, um, I've been that way before. Uh, last time my husband and I were out here, we took I-80, um, well actually we only took it to Cheyenne and then headed south and back into Oklahoma. But, uh. So I travel a lot. I mean, I go from Ohio to Oklahoma several times a year, and I drive by myself. It doesn't really bother me. The kids know where I'm at. They have uh, the capability to track my phone, so they know where I'm at at any time. My sister does, too. So um, from Ohio to Oklahoma, it's a better trip because I have cell service all the way. When I leave here, I will lose cell service for a while uh, when I'm going down through the mountain. Uh, but uh, it's a beautiful drive, and I'm it's kind of relaxing. So, and being that long in the car, I don't drive, by the way. I don't drive more than about eight hours, nine hours a day. Because uh, I will not drive after dark. Of course, this time of year, it's staying late. It's staying late later. So I could drive more, but I won't do that. I don't want to drive exhausted. So I'm very careful on how I do. And I stop often. Of course, I have to fuel up the... the car and, and 
go potty because I'll drink, be drinking water on my trip, although I won't be drinking as much. And that's why when I came out here, I gained four pounds because I wasn't drinking a lot of water because of that. You know, you get out in some of those remote areas. Like I know in Wyoming, there's hardly anywhere to pee. I know there's one, one place I'm going to stop. I think it's called the Great America Truck Stop. I will stop there again. Joe and I stopped there last time we were out here to get an ice cream cone. I'm going to forego the ice cream cone because they have dollar ice cream cones there. At least they used to. Um, but I will have to stop there and go to the go potty and let the dog out. But I know that no, there's a not as many places to stay in Wyoming because it gets pretty remote. So, Speaking of Wyoming, there's a channel that I want you guys to check out. Uh, I found this gal um, as a result of uh, the collab that we did uh, last week, the Get to Know My Channel collab. Her name is Stephanie, and her channel name is Holy Crap, I'm Fat. I want to tell you, this Stephanie is hilarious. And uh, she has a long journey to go in her weight loss, but she is uh, she's just so much fun to watch. She makes weight loss fun. Um, please go over and check out her channel and tell her that I sent her sent you to, over to her. Um, because she's just hilarious. You have to check her out. <laughs> I, I watched a couple of her videos today and I was just sitting here with my headphones on just laughing up a storm and my daughter at one point looked at me and said, what are you doing? And it's just, she's just so fun and her facial expressions just, <laughs> I know that she's not in theater, but she should be. <laughs> anyway, holy crap, I'm fat is her YouTube channel. Please go and check her out. Um, with that, I'm going to go. I will try to be back on tomorrow. Um, I don't know that I'll be able to video on Sunday, but I will at least try to get on tomorrow and uh, give you guys a, another weight update and uh, what I ate. So you guys, if you're waiting, weighing in over the weekend, Sandy, good luck. I'm rooting for you. Um, and others that are weighing in over the weekend, please, 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 good luck. I'm anxious to see your results. And I just want to tell you, I'm so thankful for this YouTube committee, or community, because, like I said, not only do you keep me honest, but you give me somebody to talk to during the day. I look forward to doing this, these videos every day. Um, I feel like it's my connection to the world. And um, in your own special way, you're making me feel come alive again. So thank you for that. I so appreciate your support. Please like, subscribe, share, and... Um, I hope that my, my, the food that I show you is helping you get your weight loss mojo going again. So I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. I forgot to tell you the reason, if you've added up my points as I've shown them to you, uh, it don't add, doesn't, doesn't add up to me only having four points left. I forgot to tell you that uh, this afternoon I had a snack of a Weight Watcher, the giant fudge bar. Um that I've been eating like one every day. Those are four points and they're 180 calories. So, and they satisfy my sweet tooth. So that's why I only have four points left today. If, had I not eaten that, I would have eight points left. But um, yeah, that's what I did, so. Okay, bye-bye.